Recently, a patron commissioned three sculptures based on my most recent work. This is the second of the three. It's going to be very similar to Linked, which is the piece I made for Art Fields this year. It's going to have a slightly different variation, though. I decided to try a different pattern with the wood. I'm using walnut and some maple that I got recently. This maple has a bit of ambrosia in it, so it looks really great. I don't know how many pieces I cut. Over a thousand, I think. My friend Larry was using my lathe for the entire day. It took me to glue up almost 80 segmented rings. I couldn't get an accurate cut with my miter saw, so I have to glue them up in half rings and put dowels between them. Then once the glue dries, I sand the faces flat and then glue them together into whole rings. And I needed to cut them into wedges, so my solution was to glue them to a 2x4 and run them through my bandsaw. I really like using rubber bands because they're very versatile. Once my wedges were cut, I sanded the faces and then started gluing them up. Once I had them glued up into groups of three, I kind of realized that they weren't quite cut at the right angle. So I trimmed a little bit off on the bandsaw. Continued to glue them up. I also needed some straight pieces because the goal was to make what looked like chain links. Once I had them together in half rings, they still didn't quite match up, so I had to trim a little bit on the bandsaw and then sand the faces flat in order to move them into a whole ring. In order to mount them to the lathe, I sanded one side flat. Starbone Adhesive sent me a kit to try, so I simply glued some waste blocks to one side so I could mount it on my chuck. I'm very impressed with how fast Starbone works. So I turn one side, testing it with my little cardboard template. Then I glued on another waste block to the other side and removed the first one with the chisel. Mounted it back on the chuck and did the other side. Thanks to Unita for supplying the abrasive that I used for this project. Finally, I just knocked it off with a rubber mallet, protecting it with a rag to not damage the side. I carefully chiseled off the excess glue and then sanded it smooth. And of course I had to cut them in half. Again I had to sand the faces flat so I could get a good glue up. I tested the fit and I realized I needed another ring to go in there. Luckily I made a few extras. We'll continue to glue those up. Once the glue was dry, I glued them to waste blocks with CA. Mounted it on the lathe and turned it into a cylinder. Checking the size with my cardboard template. Sanded it smooth and then parted it with a parting tool. Unfortunately, the ends were not square, so I rigged up this little jig on my sanding table just so I could sand the ends square. I tested the fit, it looked good, so I glued them up. 
I put a little bit of pressure on it for about a minute and then use rubber bands to hold it together and set it aside. Once the glue was dry, I tested the fit. Unfortunately, they were just slightly too small to fit inside each other. So I decided I was going to make spacers with 1 8 inch walnut, cut them out on the bandsaw, and then cut each of my links in half so I could glue in my spacer. The spacer would be mostly hidden anyway once the piece is all together. Again, once the glue dried, I spent a lot of time waiting for glue to dry. I smoothed the glue joints with an uh, angle grinder and a sander. Then finish it with lacquer. Of course, to get them all together, I had to cut one in half again. I tested the fit, looked pretty good. And this is the final glue up. contains over 1200 pieces of walnut and maple. And if you've made it this far, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate you coming back to Cammy's Garage.